with the value of land for Papua New Guinea in mind. Today saw a broad representation of the Hiri local level government area, more particularly concerned landowners of the PNG LNG plant area, gathered at the Crown Hotel in Port Moresby to air their grievances, channeled through their local member. In the early days of 2008, and towards the construction of the PNG LNG gas and the, and the plant site, much was promised to the people of Hiri LNG, in, more particularly the four impact villages, advising them that once 4,000 hectares of land under what was formerly known as portion 152 would be carved out for the plant site. It was promised to them that the residual title or titles that are now in existence would be reserved and granted in favor of the business interests of the people of Hiri West and the Hiri local level government. But as you all know, in the evolution of time in the last 10, 15 years, small pockets of titles in the name of the state have been taken and granted to third parties. Alluding that the people of Hiri Koyari and Hiri local level government have sacrificed their land, which in PNG is their livelihood and legacy for the development of PNG in the LNG industry, Mr. Iduhu added. They are very disappointed, they tell me this morning, to have learned through the media mainstream and social media that a very large chunk of land has been taken and given to third parties. Why, they asked, was this land not reserved and why were there business entities or land codes in, not invited to apply? Noting that it is scary that locals are less considered in such, the member said the people of Porebada, Boira and Papa village are very disgruntled. You see, what actually happened was a representation was made to the land board that 4,000 odd jobs would be created and that there would be a big real estate establishment coming out of there with a golf course, country club and all other um, amenities. And that the locals would be benefiting through uh, employment. Subsequent to the grant, as a result of that representation, then a subdivision was done and a power plant constructed on it. Where are the 4,000 jobs? that were promised to the landowners. Following their meeting today, the landowners brought forward these demands, appealing to the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister for Lands and Physical Planning. We want a full audit of all the parcels of state, purported state land in the area. We demand this full disclosure of all transactions or um, files relating to the 285 hectares of land that was initially granted to PEC was other third parties. The member for Hiri Koyari noted that if their demands are not met within the week, legal actions will be pursued.